Hey people, welcome to the last episode for the evening, the third fragrance from Armaf Hall. And I, as you guys know, I'm doing it separately for your convenience. I'm doing it like 10 minutes each on initial impression for each. So you can check out individually. And another purpose for me to do all these three videos side back to back is uh, I'm going to put them up for decanting like most of the juices. But uh, so my members and the group can check out the fragrance because I'm going to sh be sharing the link. So I'm not quite sure how many reviews are on this particular fragrances that I did and I'm going to do. Maybe this particular fragrance which is uh, from the niche line and uh, I think there is one or two reviews already out there. Babs Collection talked about it and then the Cologne Addict, one of my favorite reviewers, he reviewed this, right? So this fragrance is uh, from the top line of Armov, all right? And let's get into it anyway. So the presentation is on this is just getting better and better with time. This is so far the highest, uh, most expensive fragrance from this line I purchased. And let me tell you, I feel like I should have paid double the price on this. Yes, watch out. <laughs> so the one niche, niche, they have like six or eight fragrances in that line. Three or four for ladies and three or four for men. So I just saw two. One was, um, I think, um, spicier version. I forgot the name. All right. So that one was a uh, Reeve Kosh, like YSL copy. So I don't like that much spicy fragrances, so I didn't purchase it. Maybe in the future I'll purchase it. So the one I have with me here is Armov Niche Platinum. This is the box. Very, very beautiful presentation. Trust me, the box. It's all, you can feel the pattern. And it has uh, Armov Niche, the tag in the middle, Platinum. And uh, it's EDT concentration, all right, 100 ml. Uh, this is not 100, sorry, this is 90 ml. The niche particular ones are 90 ml. Top, you get your arm off logo. Back, you get all the information and the ingredients, whatnot. Here, I'm gonna do full review much later, but for now, I'm showing you, all right. So, yeah, very sort of a interesting box. So, what's more interesting than the box is the bottle itself. This is mind blowing. If you're talking about quality, you I hardly see any expensive Prada or whoever else hardly put out this kind of quality bottle. Just look at this, guys. Look at this. This is just mind-blowing, all right? So this bottle, you know, it's inside and then it looks like a little bit of MAC. You know, if MAC, you know, the, the company that makes lipsticks and your lady beauty products and everything, all black. This one feels like from Mac, so it says in leather. It's a leather, uh, I don't know what you call tag. It's all stitched, all right? I'm gonna take my time to show you the presentation. It's all velvety at the side, all right? And top, you get your arm off, written, the logo. And bottom, you get all the information, all engraved here, okay? And this is, I think, oh, sorry. This is made in France, I think, if I'm not mistaken. This EDT, and I think most probably this is made in France. I checked it somewhere, in, maybe in the bottle. All right, so the thing is when you open it, this one sits inside. This is another, this is not the whole bottle, all right? This one comes off like this, all right? It sits very securely inside, so you can move it, no problem, it's not gonna fall. So basically what you get is, you get a box like this. Then you get this one casing. If you don't want to use the casing, you can put your watch or jewelry, whatever you want inside, very nice pouch. So. I love this. I love this stuff. All right. So yeah, this one also reminded me of one fragrance, particular fragrance kind of pouch, but this one I think is a better quality. If you know Mercedes Benz, they have a leopard form, like a fragrance. That one is as a brownish sort of bottle. That one has this kind of pouch with a, like a zipper or something on the side. So this fragrance, <clears throat> I, I don't know. My, I mean, hardly I have found this kind of quality in a fragrance in recent times. Forget about arm of any fragrance house that is. This is known to be a clone of Loam. Some say Loam Ultime, some say Loam. And the thing is, you get vibes from this, like a lot of other fragrances. I'm gonna mention to you in a while. I tried this several times before buying it today. This fragrance is a beast. All right, I'll tell you in a while. So let me show you the bottle quickly. It says arm of also very nice patterns. All right. It has a feel of, uh, I'll tell you, this one, it's all engraved. This is not a sticker, I think. This is, yeah, this is like nicely on the bottle and very heavy bottom base here. But just because it's 90 ml, it's not all the way up. 
you know normally supposed to be all the way up here so juice is here so don't worry guys your bottle is not being used all right so it's just like less juice in a 100 ml bottle so i believe this is 100 ml bottle all right and bottom you get your um, all the information yeah, i was stood corrected made in france all right so yeah they have the sticker and whatnot so this fragrance the bottle reminds me of two other bottles all right one is the Lanuit Delhomme bottles, the YSL Loam Lanuit Delhomme, all sort of same. Let me show you. You will know what I mean. I like to take my time to, to show you presentations because I think they're they're worth it. So when you see, this is Lanuit Delhomme bottle, all right, without the cap. They look sort of similar. Even the sprayer they copied. <laughs> so I really dig it. But oh, Lanuit Delhomme, better not, better not, better close it that thing really turns me on so this sprayer is amazing beautiful looking sprayer all right and uh, with the cap on like this it reminds me of David Beckham instinct that bottle even a different shape but the color of the juice and the cap all right the cap here is plastic it's not that heavy but got some weight to it inside rated arm off all right so for a presentation on this is this is niche I cannot even say 10 this is a plus for the whole presentation all right so let's look at the fragrance itself. Is this good? Of course it's good. Damn, you're damn right it's good because I bought this. I don't get sponsored, I don't get free bottles. I buy with my own money and I would be using this so I wouldn't buy something that is not worth it. All right, so this fragrance, let me see what I get from it. All right, because here, just a while ago I was testing, I have, I think, one fragrance here. That is the Boa Luxura here. And this is the Derby Clubhouse. Belmont, all right. So this area is empty here, all right. So let's see. As you, do you see, the sprayer is amazing, very easy going sprayer. Okay, first up, the for the niche, one thing is a little bit disappointing. Even though I know this arm off, you get the fresh blast of alcohol from the niche line, and it stays about like not long, 10 to 15 seconds. But some of the other fragrances, like the ones I bought today, this one as well as the, these ones these one not are as pricey as this one I mean the niche line but they don't have the blast of alcohol so I don't know maybe it's just my nose or just just one thing I didn't like wow this thing niche line I'll tell you one thing before I review it or do initial impression go and buy this thing if you see somewhere no matter how much you have to pay go and buy this and later see the review alright this thing is a Loam, Loam on team, Lacoste L1212, Savage, Aventus, everything on steroids. Clean, fresh, sweet, summer days. Even for winter, you can pull this off. The most pleasant scent ever from Arm of Line. Yep. This has the sweetness. This has the very beautiful fruitiness. You get the hint of pineapple and you get do get the feel of Aventus from it. If you like the clones of Aventus, this is this is father of all the clones. Yep, 90 ml juice, forget about it, 90 ml. You just need two to three sprays of this, that's it. This is freaking potent. This lasts on me more than eight to 10 hours. On the clothes, better. But the thing is definitely like trying it on cooler weather. I'm not sure in the heavy heat what happens, but on the clothes, it will last much longer. It's not super heavy, super classy, super high occasion, high class sort of a scent. All right, so you do get the fruitiness, citrus you get the feel of the white clean lacoste l1212 but this one has the performance well those other ones are shit on performance smell wise they're good mont blanc legend also minus the lavender nothing heavy maybe cedar and dry down a little bit later and a little bit i don't know there's like something green in it like vetiver maybe i'm not sure so notes and everything i don't know if i find it i'll put it down very pleasant the most pleasant scent ever my lady she smelled it this she loved it over the other two today she said she would wear this herself very very even though made for men i don't think if it says edt or i mean puram but i think both genders can pull it off with so much confidence all right so for longevity it's 9.5 i'll give this for this kind of a scent it cannot get better quality than this i'm not sure about the other niche line from arm of house but for longevity and projection i'm gonna give this 9, 9.5, that sort of mark. For compliments, 
easy compliments getter. This is, I will say with confidence, this one cannot be hated by anyone. This one doesn't have those notes. If you love Aventus, if you love any of those sweet fragrances, daytime, nighttime, winter, summer, you can rock this with confidence because this has the strength of EDP but projects like an EDT. So imagine all the good things of all fragrances combined in one. Boom. Captain Planet, he is a hero. Oh shit, I almost hit myself. Never mind, I don't know the whole song also. But yeah, I love this stuff. This, I don't know, the bottle itself, everything. I, I never been more satisfied from any Arma house, Arm, I mean Arma fragrances before with the quality. Minus that alcohol blast. Overall, my initial impression, I'm gonna give this 9.5 out of 10. That good. You can blind buy this if you're into Loam, but you want better performance than Loam. If you like Loam all team, which I never smelled, I think this is the same line with that. All right. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. It has a feel of Aventus somewhere and maybe uh, vibes of Millesim Imperial. Not as beautiful as those, but vibes of that. So if you want a knockoff of those, you get a lot of this one good things in one fragrance. And for the price you pay, 28 $30, $35, what do you have to lose? 90 ml juice, niche stuff from Armov. So, very, very satisfied. This is the most, I mean, I think this is the most favorite of mine out of the three that I purchased tonight. All right, so look into Armov niche platinum. I'm definitely gonna buy a lot more of Armov from different lines, but so far, I'm gonna be enjoying this. All right, so thank you for watching. Thanks for. Uh, showing me support. I'll be doing full-on review with time. All right. I'm doing these reviews for you guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye